That's not a coma. That's just getting passed out of it for hours. <laughs> Kevin then went to juvie for a crime that he did not commit because HBB framed him. Right. Oh so no one else in the class saw. I got a question. This is serious. Yes, this is real. This is real serious. Is I can this send supposed it to, to be you on a point. show. Yes, this was supposed to be a preview of, like, promos and building to their match. This was a preview of something? It gets worse? Yes. Y- yes. Hey, hold on, hold on. All right. Here we go. So, KD said it was hard to find a job with a criminal record. All right. Here we go. Let's, let's scroll down here a bit. It says, KD appears at HBB's house. He chokes him. <laughs> HBB's wife and then kisses her softly he? while she is oh my god then he takes HBB's oldest daughter who is 22 and does the same then next week Kevin sees HBB's oldest son Michael Rush Jr. at HBB's house and starts kicking the poor 22 year old's ass and starts taunting him with, with you wanna be just like your daddy when you grow up boy <laughs> To be the next golden boy, huh? Is this is this done? Yeah, that is that was some very that was a very interesting uh, tale there. And I thought right, so. I yeah. thought Dynasty X was cheesy. I guess not. Unoriginal. So uh, that's. I think we should get seven days. Kevin Devastation himself in here and he see said, what he has to say about this. Yeah. He said, uh, did, 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 you, did you hear their ending yet? No. No, ending? no, go ahead. All right. So the match at Pain for Pride happens with HBB winning, but instead he erases KD's criminal record and he erases the loss KD suffered that night. <laughs> right. Wow. <laughs> How does a wrestler delete someone's criminal record? That, that that was touching. That was touching. <laughs> Good lord. It's a nice little sob story. <laughs> oh, you I... hear that? Is that the world's smallest violin playing in the background? Yes, it is. Oh. I cried. I have one question to ask KD, though. I really want to ask him. Her bullying or his uncle shooting him in the chest? <laughs> 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 well, EOE, I don't think you have to wait much longer because the EAW podcast has booked Kevin Devastation live tonight. Uh, okay, it, is is he is he is he here? Is he online? Yeah, I'm adding him right now. All right, let's do it. All right, he's, he's calling right now. Kevin Devastation, can you hear me? Hello, hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hey, hey Kevin, how's it going? It's going great. How are you doing, Hulk? Doing fine myself. How are you doing, Star? You're a bitch. How are you doing, Andy? Well, I I see that ever since I brought you into this into this uh, into these companies, you seem to be giving yourself a big name. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> well, How? I I brought you into Feds, uh, Kevin Devastation. Oh yeah. Oh, anyway, shut up. I'm talking. Anyways, Montel Smooth, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm also doing good. I've never felt so. I've never felt so great in my life. See, so, uh, you guys want to ask me some questions? Yeah, we got some questions from uh, the EAW universe. Um, hey, is that right? Yeah, we. Um, first off, it's, some. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> be, be still and know that I am God. <laughs> Our first question wants to know uh it's a question from the kitchen of kevin devastation because we want to know the tips on how to roast roadkill well first i run i have a 1985 ford f-150 it's rusting away but the tires the tires they almost blown out but it's good because it's rougher that way it's rougher that way so when you run over your squirrel your dog your coyote you orangutan, <laughs> you can just pull it off the side of the road and skin it right there. You skin it right there. <laughs> you throw it in the bed of the truck. That's why I got a truck and not a SUV because I can just spray it with the hose. You know what I mean? Spray it with the hose, you know what I mean? To get the... 
to get the guts out of the metal bed. It's easier to get it out of that than the fabric in my trunk of my SUV. But anyways, then I drive home. I drive slow. I drive slow too, like the Kanye West song. I pull in my driveway. I pull it. I take it out the bed. I bring it to Mama. Mama Devastation. And she says, That is great dinner for tonight. And she deep fries the squirrel. She first that she makes a hat for me out of a out of the squirrel the squirrel skin. And she's like she she puts it on, she says, Frank Murphy, you look like a young David Crockett and I think you're going somewhere. And I say thank you, Mama Devastation. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was well, touching. All right. So that was really good stuff. There you go. Now you know how to roast your now, Rachel. Now, Kevin Devastation, um, we've seen your lovely picture in the past, and we've gotten so many uh, questions. They, people want to know where you got that fabulous hat that you're wearing. That, that's, quite, that's quite a great question, because you know where I really got that hat? Where'd you get that? You're going to think it's funny. I got that hat right after Heartbreak Boy started bullying me in school because I thought it'd make me look cool, but then I just got bullied more. <laughs> I actually got that hat at a flea market in the middle of Kentucky. Did you? Right next to, right next to a barn where they make the, milk the cows, I got that hat, I got my cowboy boots, and I got my laptop. The first laptop I used to eat at the flea market. <laughs> Interesting. Um, now, uh, I, I we heard this story that you were dead for ten minutes. Uh, tell tell us about that. What what happened? Well, that, this is a really interesting story. We went to hunt for a, for a deer, coyotes. We went to hunt for deer, coyotes, books. We shot a few books too, and uh, you know, when you rub the, the deer urine on you, so <laughs> they can smell, they can smell when they come in your direction. You know what I mean? They come in my direction, and my uncle is partly blind, and he's. I was walking by him, and he smelt the urine on my shirt, and he turned around. And he shot me, and he said, oh, my God, Kevin Devastation, oh, my God, Frank Murphy, my nephew, I shot you on accident. Oh, I thought you were dearer. I could smell the urination. And that's all I heard, because right after I heard that, I died. And I saw the light, and I, 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 I met God face to face. So He's, you met yourself face to face, right? No, I met the real cow, and he said, Sorry, Kevin Devastation. This isn't your time to die. And when it is your time to die, you're not going to heaven. You're going to hell anyways, because you use the Lord's name in vain. And you say, lay still and know that I am God. Any more questions? Yes, sir, Kevin Devastation. Justin Wingate had a question for you. He said, why did your uncle choose to shoot you instead of the deer? So I can answer that. Is there any more questions? Why didn't he shoot you in the head? Because you aim for the heart when you shoot for deers. You aim for the heart. So he missed that too? Yes, he missed that too, fortunately, or I probably wouldn't be here. I probably would be here probably be dead a lot longer than 10 minutes if he hit my heart. <laughs> a lot longer. <laughs> CM Banks <laughs> CM Banks wants to know why you wrote DOA on your hand. That's, DOA for life? That is a great question. With white out. Because I wrote it on my hand because I want to go to the tattoo parlor and have the man tattoo over it so I can show my friends at school my EFED Finish your name. <laughs> and I 
And uh, down in uh, down south where I live, we don't really have good materials. We still use uh, feathers t to write with our pans of feathers. And also, but we don't have white oak. We actually have to use camel ejaculation. It's a lot cheaper to import that from Egypt than it is to import white oak from China. What? Yes, we don't have white oak in down south. We have ejaculation to put on the paper. Now, what are your thoughts on Extreme Enigma? Oh, my friend Jay Bunnett, aka JB Unit, aka Justin Bucka Bucka Bagani. <laughs> we go back. We go way back. We used to A fade again back in the <laughs> We used to A fade. <laughs> That's disrespectful, Stanley. <laughs> Be still and know that you're in the presence of a cow. A cow. Anyways, Kevin. No. I'm Kevin <laughs> Station and my best friend, Extreme Enigma. I, I love him like my own brother, like my blood, like my blood, and I, I kill anybody who tries to harm my friend Extreme Enigma. Now let's go from your friend Extreme Enigma to your enemy, the Heartbreak Boy. Now, earlier in the show we saw this this plan for your feud against him. Now what what went through your mind when you were doing all that? I think I was a little high off the deer urination, to be honest. I don't know what I was thinking, because that's the stupid. Now, hey, Hurricane Hawk reading it back to me is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, it's that stupid booking of WWE fans' title reign. Ha 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 ha. Um, do we have any more questions from the universe? Yes, I have one more question. Kevin yeah, let's station. Go ahead, Smith. All right, Kevin of Station, why are you so lame? That is, that is a great question, Mom Tail Smooth. And I, I wouldn't refer to myself as lame. I refer to myself as unoriginal. I think there's a big difference. Because my podcast, my spin cycle, I don't think it was lame. I just think it was unoriginal. My promos, as, a, as Kevin, when I had Kevin Nash as my pick me, I don't think they were lame. I just think they were unoriginal. I, I hear people coming from Banks' microphone. Banks, you have something to say to me? His question was high. <coughs> well, seeing Banks, I got to say a few thanks to you. I think he was biased. So much hard work I put into winning Grand Rampage back in 2010, and he gave it to Cyclone because he was a better butt kisser, and he liked him better. That's not fair. And in paying for pride, I lost again because I was not his favorite. But let me tell you this. I'm sick and tired of being disrespected by Mr. Banks. I'm sick and tired of being disrespected by people like Mr. 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 D D Mr. 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 Uh, what's his name? Mr. Mr. D D D. I'm sick of it. Be still. You know that I am God. Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Devastation. Thank you, bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Star. Thank you, Star. I know him. That was weird. Kevin Devastation just left the building. Yeah, he just he stormed off. Wow. Well, you know, we, we have to have both sides of the story here. You know, we can't just. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time on another EAW podcast.